Welcome to Racing Alaska. Today we're going to change the drive belt on this Argo. We'll take a look at that process right now and don't forget to subscribe. The top of the cogs of this belt are actually running below the rim of the pulley. This is a worn belt. So I have it neutral right now. I've started this by getting the belt part way off the pulley and then just rolling the pulley over. Now you can see that this one is a little bit narrower than the other one. This one here is the brand new one. And so it's been worn down some. I used green Scotch-Brite to get any of the rubber residue off the pulley. Okay, like that wasn't easy enough, right? So we're gonna go up in here, put that one up over there, and try to do the same thing here. Okay, so you can see that the cogs are above the belt now, which is how it's supposed to be. Okay, let's talk about this drivetrain now. This first axle that you can see there is the drive axle that comes out of the transmission. And from that then it's got one sprocket that goes forward to an axle up there and that's the front tire. And then it's got another double chain that goes back to this axle. And so that double chain turns this axle and at the same time then it turns the next chain. And that next chain then comes back to here to this axle and while it's turning that axle, then it also then turns the rear axle. And so you can see we've got the same thing on both sides, going up the gas tank and the seat. And then here. And each axle you'll notice, let's go back here. The thing actually has eight axles and each tire has its own axle. The axles do not go all the way through the machine to the other side. And the cool thing about this is, when you think about a car, the way a car turns is you just turn the front tires and it turns. On a machine that has, that's like this, what has to happen is one side either has to stop while the other side's still going so it pushes it around, or one side has to slow down and the other side's still going full speed and then it still kind of pushes it around. And so this machine here does both of those things. We'll take a look at that. When I'm going straight, both chains are traveling at the same speed. When I turn to the left, the left chain slows down to one-third speed. Look at that back here. Notice the chain on the right side is turning slower than the chain on the left side. That means the machine is turning to the right side or into the slow side. Now, both sets of chains are traveling at the same speed, which means the machine is going straight. A look at this from the outside of the machine. The track on the right side of the machine is traveling faster than the track on the left side. In fact, the track on the left side is traveling at one third the speed as the right side of the machine. Thus, the right side of the machine is being pushed around faster than the left. So right now it's in high. With this machine, when it's in high, one side will turn full speed and the other side turns one-third speed. When it's in low, one side turns full speed and the other side will not turn at all, so it turns much sharper. of 
side of the machine, it's easy to see that the right track is not turning at all. One last thing I want to share. This antler tine on my Argo keychain was given to me by a gentleman in Canada known as the Thankful Outdoorsman. Each year when he harvests his deer, he cuts the tines off of it and shares them with people and I was a lucky recipient. So thank you, Thankful Outdoorsman. I will say it took me a while to figure out where would be the most suiting place to put this little treasure. And so I think that this is probably where it feels most at home.